What's up guys, today I'll be showing you guys my NSB setup that helped me cop two pairs of the Jordan 1 Brotherhoods that I released. Um, as you guys know, if you guys use NSB, you'll know that it's super hard to cop Jordan 1s with the bot. So I was actually surprised that I copped multiple pairs of it. But anyways, you can see my Discord right here, cops two pairs, both on Kids Foot Locker. And you'll see right here in my cops section, it is through Kids Foot Locker, but it's with diff different billing addresses. As you guys know, if it's the same billing address, um, the order will get canceled. So different billing address for both shoes that I copped. Um, also, I copped one pair using my live proxies and then one pair using my proxy heaven. Um, I also use Oculus ISPs. And I've had plenty of success with those in the past. So those are the three proxies that I use. Those are the three proxies that I recommend. And if you want to get any of those, I'll have more information down in my description. So let's get into the setup now. I copped both pairs on Kids Footlocker, so I'll be going over that. Um, so type in Kids Foot Locker for mode. Always use smooth. That's what I always use. Never use mobile. For the SKU, you just type in the SKU of the shoe. You could normally get it through the direct website or NSB Discord um, posts it the night before. So you could check through that as well. For sizes, um, I typed in five through seven because those were the only grade school sizes that I actually wanted to cop. So how you type it in, you just type in each number and separate them with a comma and don't use any spaces. If you use spaces, you'll mess up you know, the whole setup. But billing, just select whatever billing you're using. And proxies, like I said earlier, I'm currently using live proxies, Oculus proxies, and proxy heaven. And then for the advanced settings right here, I think this is what separates me from other people. Um, some people like to leave it normal or leave it at the default settings, which is 3,500 for each. Or some people lower it too low to the point where the, um, the website could see that you're a bot and then they'll block your proxy. I lower it just a bit. I lower it to 3333 for both of these. I don't know for sure if that's the reason why I've been copying. It has gave me more success, so that's why I always use it now. So I just type that in for both. For schedule tasks, I live in California, so my drops are always at 7 a.m. So I schedule my task 10 minutes before the drop, so at 6.50 a.m. And then for CAPTCHA, I don't even click on that at all. So that's basically how I set up for the drop. If you're wondering how many tasks I use, it just depends how much proxies I have. For example, for live proxies, I have 350 total live proxies. So I, I make three tasks for each proxy. So 350 times three, it's 1,050 tasks in total. So that's how I set it up. I do that for every you know, proxy that I have. I use three tasks at the most for each proxy. You can make less if you want. You could do one task per proxy or two tasks per proxy. Three tasks per proxy, I recommend like at the most. You don't go overboard or um, the proxy will get blocked. So in total, I ran about over a thousand tasks, was able to cop two pairs. But that's pretty much my setup, guys. That's how I set up for the Jordan 1 Brotherhoods. That's how I cop two pairs. But if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. And I'll try to answer you as soon as I can. But anyways, that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel. Leave a like on this video. If you want to see more information on the proxies and cook groups I'm in, check out my description down below. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.